All right, another five questions is here once again. And today we are excited to be joined by one of KMA Land's greatest track athletes. His name is Rice Reynolds from Mount Air. Rice, how are we doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing well. We are talking right now on a Friday morning mm -hmm. following the deadline day for the Drake Relays. I know you were already in good shape uh, after you know going into last night, I guess. What are your thoughts on uh, – this isn't part of the five questions, by the way. What are your thoughts? How, how are you feeling about uh, Drake right now? I feel good. Um, I feel confident that I've I've ran the races that I need to going in, and I'm uh, I'm hopefully going to show out when I get there. And I'm just excited to go and have fun and enjoy myself and um, appreciate the competition while I'm there. So yeah. All right. One more non five questions question about sports. Kind of. What are you more excited for, Drake relays or prom this weekend? <laughs> Definitely Drake Relays. Okay. I don't get me wrong. I enjoy prom. It's it's a good time, but Drake Relays is kind of more my thing. So all right, yeah. Cool. All right. Are you ready to go with five questions? Yeah. These are gonna be very, very difficult questions that you might be stumped on, okay? Oh great. All right. All right. No, no, just kidding. They're they're very easy, very easy. Okay. We were kind of alluding to it. Question number one, you are one of the fastest in all of the state of Iowa, but what is something that you do? pretty slow hmm i i definitely feel like i'm very like meticulous and my attention to detail is pretty high i would say um so any like school project or presentation or anything like that like in school that i have to give um or art project like an art class or anything like that I definitely take a lot longer than some of the other kids in my grade, um, just because I feel like sometimes I have like a perfectionist kind of personality. So yeah. um, I would say either a presentation or an art project or something like that. All right. So you turned the question, which could have been pretty negative, into a positive. That was a good job. That's well done. <laughs> Thank you. When it, comes to group, hey, when it comes to group presentations, what are you? Are you the guy that is uh, taking it over? and running things while others sit back or do you just sit back relax and let somebody else do it i i'm definitely the one who kind of steps up and tries yeah. to like you know just because i said like my attention to detail is pretty high and like yeah. all that stuff i i don't want to say i'm like controlling or anything like that i definitely delegate my work when i have to but mm -hmm. i do like kind of having an over eye on things when i you know, in a group setting and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Not in a negative way, of course, but. Right. Um, I, like, you know, I like to know that I have done my part. Yeah. I guess. Do you ever have to get after, you know, like some of those people that's like kind of sit back and let the others do the work and just uh, kind of get the same grade. Do you ever have to get after those kinds of people? Um, Not really. My grade is pretty good at, um, okay. you know, being responsible and doing all that stuff. So I don't have to worry about that a lot of the time. Um, I can trust a lot of my classmates and I'm very thankful for that. So um, who's, no, who's the least, who, okay. Who's the least responsible person that, you know, no, I don't, don't answer that. I'm just kidding. Right oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> number two, number two, what are your three favorite pre-race foods? I mean, that doesn't have to be like right before the race, but just something that you do to get yourself going. So the night before my favorite, right. Or my favorite meal that I have, um, mm -hmm. And I'm sure my dad is tired of it because he has to cook it all the time. But it's salmon and rice. Ooh, I knew it was going to be rice because that's your name. Yes. It's no, it's like <laughs> the, my absolute favorite meal before any track meet ever. So um, I would say that for the night before. Um, for lunch, I always pack my lunch the day of a meet just because I never know what's for school lunch because I don't ever look at the calendar. Um, yeah. And so I don't want to be surprised. I bring like a um, ham sandwich okay so that for lunch and then um i usually during track season like the chewy granola bars like those are yeah. mine i just pop those every like couple hours because okay. <laughs> that's my thing kind of during track season so i would say those three yeah i don't know if you're a baseball fan or not but garrett cole from the yankees like in between innings has been seen eating a banana <laughs> with the peel would with you ever eat a yeah would you ever eat a banana with a peel probably not i don't know i don't, if that's I don't know what's thing. behind that maybe he's just a psycho <clears throat> but <laughs> hey, your hand it works yeah it does uh your salmon that you're talking about is your yeah. dad uh does he bake it fry it grill what's the what's the salmon trick 
He puts it on the grill. Um, okay. Yeah, and he's got this seasoning and stuff that he uses and all that stuff. So it's it's pretty good. Okay, awesome. All right, number three, what teacher or coach will you still hear in your head about 20 years from now? I would probably have to say Coach Showalter. He's a teacher too, so he's yeah. my um, history, like American um, history teacher and then he's also like the distance side of things uh for my track team and I feel like he definitely has had a big influence on a lot of the things that I kind of value now um and so definitely in both the classroom aspect and yeah. in sports we're talking Delwyn Showalter right sorry Daniel Showalter His Daniel son. okay gotcha yes, yeah Delwyn's son. yeah yeah um so yeah, he's taught me a lot of life life lessons and um, all that stuff. So I think, I think definitely him. Is there any one thing that he says that uh, you you kind of can, you know that he says a lot? I guess. The, <laughs> when I think of him, like in sports, is track mm -hmm. uh, specifically, like arms, arms, stay smooth, like you know all the all the basic stuff. But he's yeah. always like around in the four hundred. He's always around like that two hundred meter mark where you know, not a lot of the crowd is at. So you can just hear him clearly when you run past. And so when I think of him, that's kind of what I think of, I guess. That's cool. All right. Number four. Um, so free race, you know, I, you see a lot of kids with uh, the, 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 air, the air pods in and, mm -hmm. and whatnot, or the headphones. Do you, and this doesn't have to be pre race, but if you had to choose, are you listening to music or do you have podcasts that you listen to? I definitely listen to both. Um, okay. I'm, I'm a while back I did a like a 30 day thing where I kind of stepped away from social media and all that stuff because I had seen it and how beneficial that was for like just yourself as a person like all that stuff so I tried it out and I kind of picked up listening to podcasts during those 30 days um, I listened to the amen podcast by Alex Wilson um, okay. definitely one of my favorites um, and then uh i also yeah i also do listen to music and stuff um before a race and all that stuff but yeah i'm definitely kind of i balance both so okay what's on what what, what do you what music are you listening to right before a race um i have a christian playlist just to like calm me down um mm -hmm. and stuff like that because you know nerves and, uh, being right. and all that stuff comes with track and racing and all that stuff so um i have a playlist that works really well to just keep me grounded and uh, stay focused on what's what's really important and all that stuff so, yeah so. yeah so i some people want the, the hard stuff or something that's jumping mm -hmm. you know to get you but you're kind of like let's bring it down a little bit here let's mm -hmm. get these nerves yeah. cooled off i like that all right mm -hmm. okay number five what's the best thing that has happened to you this track season what's the best thing that's happened it doesn't even have to be on the track um the kind of highlight of this track season so far is definitely going down to Kansas relays mm -hmm. uh, and running there. Um, the last time they had done that was 2019. Like the last time Kansas relays had a meet was 2019. Oh, wow. COVID yeah. And all that stuff. So, um, and it was the, you know, the centennial, the hundredth anniversary. Um, mm -hmm. So it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed going down there and um, I was very thankful for the opportunity to go down and get a PR in the 400. So um, yeah, it was a great time and it was a great meet. So Kansas relays or Drake relays. I've got to say Drake relays just because, you know, I've got to stay loyal to Iowa, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was That's definitely cool. a fun experience nevertheless. So awesome. Well, rice, my five questions are up. Are you, are you all right? Did you, did you hang in there? Are you, you know, able to make I, it? I did better than I thought I would. So okay. I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> yeah, to let people know, Rice was like, do you let me know the questions or is it going to be a surprise? And I said, well, I could. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad I didn't ask for them then. <laughs> I don't, don't want to be number two. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, nobody wants to be a number two, right? Right, right. right. Exactly. Rice, thanks a lot, man. Uh, appreciate it. Have fun at prom and best of luck to you at Drake Relays and throughout the rest of the season, okay? Thank you.